Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fire Falcon Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you return to the channel, welcome. Um, for the Geminis that are subscribed to the channel, I would like to thank you for your lifetime or your long love and support. I know it's been a very, very long time since I posted anything. Um, I know, I'm taking ownership for it. Um, but you guys did come out in the shuffle, so we're going to get into your February reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this could be um, past, present, or future energy, so take it how it resonates. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you at all. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification in the top right corner, I believe it is, let you know and make you notified when I do post readings for you guys. Um, again, I know I've been MIA and I, I take some time off because I was, uh, focusing on other things that I, that I do love, but I, I realized, uh, within the last two weeks that I actually miss and love doing tarot, um, and for that, I do apologize for not prioritizing my channel and uh, utilizing my gifts to put messages out for the world. Um, so for the, for that, I do apologize. Um, but I am back, and I will be being consistent going forward. Um, I didn't want to seem rebellious um, to not doing what I, I was chosen to do. Um, so without that being said, um, thank you guys for being here. Um, this again is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. I'm not trying to do very, very long readings because I'm trying to put out everybody's reading before I go to sleep. Um, we do have a full moon cycle, a uh, full moon energy that is still coexisting among us. Um, the full moon was actually on the 5th. Um, so hopefully you guys, uh, enjoyed that and partake in that. I took a spiritual bath, uh, tonight cause I didn't have time to do it yesterday. <laughs> um, so I'm feeling refreshed, um, rejuvenated and I'm, I'm pumped up and I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into your messages here. We're going to be, um, using the right away miniature deck here to clarify from what I pull from the light series terror deck here. Um, we're also going to be pulling you guys some Oracle decks here from the monology and the, uh, the divine abundance deck as well and we'll top it off with uh that's way too many we'll top it off with the um romance angel cards at the very very end okay and also going to pull some cards from the fiery falcon tarot deck that i created but let's get into this guys why you guys want to be difficult here and throw out a bunch of cards i don't know but uh let's see let's okay here we go all right here we go Let's pull out you guys a divine oracle. Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Gemini. see here what we got for Gemini's um, okay so we have a personal issue reaches resolution a full moon in cancer uh, so you guys could have cancerian tendencies you could be dealing with the cancer take it how it resonates um, or you have could have cancer in your chart I don't know why I said tendencies uh, but we also have karma all right so I'm gonna show you these cards here real quick if you cannot see them all right there's that one all right could be dealing with a water sign here because I'm just being drawn to the crab and we know crabs survive and lives on land, but they are primarily found in water. So take it how it resonates here. And then also with the cancer. So that's the water energy as well. And then we have karma. All right. So let's see if you guys are on the, hopefully you guys are on the good side of karma, but if not, then, you know, <laughs> All right. There is nothing from the past life that can't be addressed in the current life. 
Okay. So this could be some past life karma or um, karmatic energies, whether that be within you or within your family or from your childhood. Take it how it resonates. But I'm definitely getting a strong message here that this is past life karma that you guys were reincarnated to heal in this lifetime. So hopefully you guys are making good progress with that and on the right side of the fence. Um, but take it how it resonates, okay? That's just what I'm getting here. All right, let's see. Okay, that one to shoot out. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, so dealing with some family issues here. All right, so this could be family karma that you guys need to heal and resolve from your past life. What else here for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we're going to take those. And we have the Knight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck here. All right, and behind that, we have the Star card. All right, so you guys could be wanting to heal a situation here with someone that you may have shared uh, or been with in your past life, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, we have the Page of Cups when pigs fly. All right, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And then we have the Three of Cups. Okay. All right. All right. So clearly this could be someone that you have a family with, Gemini, here. Again, water sign here. Um, and we have strong water energy here in the reading here. All right, so this could be a mother. Uh, this could be someone that you have kids with. Okay, so this could be an aunt, a sister, a cousin. It could be a brother. Don't pay attention to the Queen of Cups and there is a woman on the, on the imagery there. Um, but that's just what I'm picking up here and what I'm getting here. So the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like something, so if this, if this is like family, like with mom, aunt, siblings, stuff like that here, I feel like you guys are missing this, this family member or these family members here, and you guys want to reconnect with them here with the Three of Cups. And underneath the Knight of Cups, we had the Star card there as well too. So, um... You could be trying to pop up on someone. It's kind of what I'm getting here. You could be trying to pop up on someone and apologize to them for the way that you may have uh, dealings with them previously, okay? And, you know, it could it could go well for you guys here with the Three of Cups here. And we have stars in the, in the cards there as well, too. All right. Um, with the Page of Cups here, again, this could be either... You apologize, or you like I say, you could be definitely share a child with this individual or children. Because in the Ten of Pentacles here, we have several children here. All right, someone could be getting pregnant here, or gotten someone pregnant again here, for some of you guys as well as, to, uh, as well. All right, with the Queen of Cups here. So this is you guys are you could be tapping into your emotional side and being expressive with someone here to try to reconcile or resolve these issues that you had within your relationship now you could have been with someone for 10 years don't say you have to be it could have been three years you could have been with someone but either way gemini's i feel like you or someone wants to reconcile here so this is a strong i'm getting a strong energy of a reconciliation here um this is someone that you did spend a past life with before so also and with the k I'm being drawn to a karmic. So this could be a, a karmic soulmate tie as well too. So we'll see if the devil card shows up here to see if there's any kind of toxic energy that's floating around the connection here for you guys. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Up oh, and there's the Queen of Cups again. All right. And the higher font. Okay. So definitely a marriage here with the Ten of Pentacles here. Or someone that you were in the long term commitment with here. All right. So let's see. Let's see here for Gemini's. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright. 
So let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini's. Give us two cards for the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini's. Five of Pentacles that want to jump out there. So someone wants to put an end to this wedge here. And we have the judgment coming on here. All right. So I feel like you guys have taken some time to think here and go over some of your solutions. Here we got the Pisces. We have the Will of Fortune. We have the Justice. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, and I think there was a pay Queen of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords, the Empress. And there's that Ten of Pentacles again. Okay. And we got the Empress and the Queen of Swords here. So I feel like this is, again, this is like a, a reconciliation reading for my Gemini's here. All right. So this is like some fresh energy just coming in because I just was getting a whole lot of craziness in the previous readings that I just did. But anyway, all right. So we have the Five of Pentacles and the Judgment here. So I feel like. After some time apart, doing, doing this separation here, I feel like you guys are now wanting to bring this, trying to see if you can revive the connection here. That's what I'm trying to get here. So I feel like someone wants to try to give you a jump or a jump start, or this could be you, Gemini. Take it how it resonates here. So I'm just getting like the energy of someone trying to jump a car here, something that's been dead, that hasn't um, been turning over, like things hasn't been going in your favor or the person that you're connecting to favor. I don't know why they're giving me a, a, a damn dead battery <laughs> analogy. All right, so some of you guys could be having some car trouble here. You guys, some of you guys could need a jump, so don't leave your lights on in the car. Don't leave, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting here. Don't leave your lights on or anything like that that could drain your battery because you may you may have some car trouble here. Or it just could be time just to just get a new battery. But anyway, I don't know where that, that's just where it came from. Over. But anyway, um, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like you guys are wanting to heal and see if you can uh, pump life back into this situation, to this connection here. I feel like the person that you were connected with has been in a Nine of Pentacles energy, kind of self-sufficient, you know, being stable on their own. And not really needing or wanting much of anything here. Um, and I feel like that has got you guys like fired up here. Alright, so we have the Sun card. That's Leo energy. We have the Page of Pentacles here. And then we have the Seven of Cups here. So, what I'm getting here is that you guys have gained some clarity here about how you feel about this person here with the Page of Cups here. Because the Page of Cups is like... It is emotions, though. You know, there is emotions there. There is a, a connection here because I'm being drawn to uh, the lines that are coming out of this guy's heart here. All right. It's almost like a charge is going to the heart here. That's like I said, that jumper in jumper box energy that I was picking up here of charging a dead battery here. Um so you could be wanting to revive something here, but someone could have options here, okay? Or, and, <clears throat> so you could be trying to honestly wanting to resolve something, or just could just could be that you want to come back in and make this offer here, or someone wants to come back and make this offer here because they see that this person has options, all right? Now, some of these options could be better than what they actually had or shared with you in the connection here. And this could be something that you guys are like a little jealous about here is kind of what I'm getting here because it could be an illusion as well too. Now it could be just to sabotage a connection that you may have seen that person enjoying and being blissful and happy with and, and like feeling very youthful. Uh, a spark in them that you haven't seen since maybe you guys first got together and you could be trying to come in to perpetrate these emotions here for this individual because you're seeing this here because we all know that the seven of cups here could be illusions here so things may not seem to be what they really are there could uh just be a way to lure i'm hearing lure this individual back in okay oh lord so hopefully not but uh let's see oh we got the bottom but the bottom of the deck we got the four of pentacles here because you couldn't let go of the situation here and we have the king of cups here and the higher fun again all right so maybe you've gotten some news here 
Now, there's not much communication cards out here, but I'm hearing like you may have gotten some news or maybe some enlightenment here with the sun card that maybe this individual is ready to let this connection go here. All right, Ace of Cups here. All right. Let's see. Yeah, you want to work on something now. Seven of Pentacles here. We have the Chariot here for the Queen of Cups. And we have the Moon card here. All right, I'm going to pull another one on that there. So I feel like you've gotten some clarity here that someone may want to have been wanting to work on something with someone else here. And I feel like you guys have came in and uh, <clears throat> now, now my throat is messing up here and I can't speak. So I feel like you guys have gotten wind of that and now you want to come in and um, try to, I'm hearing like either disrupt this thing that this person may have going on or vice versa or this is them trying to come and disrupt what you got going on here. But I feel like you're trying to confuse this individual here. For some of you guys, they were manifesting the breakup or such a separation from this individual here. And it could have you in the Eight of Swords here because you guys are actually getting your Nine of Cups. All right, so tell you how it resonates. All right, give me one more on the, um, damn, I'm good. All right, so we got the Ace of Cups that came out here. And we have the Nine of Swords. So charging in abruptly here, and we got the hangman. So it could be dealing with the Pisces, don't necessarily have to be, or an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or Empress, so baby mom, baby dad, whatever the case may be. All right, so this is someone charging in here saying, but wait, I really do have love for you. I really do want to be with you. I really want to work on this connection. I really can't let you go with the four of pentacles that we just seen. Like, I, I really want to rebuild this situation here. I really want to reconcile. I really want to do this. I really want to give it another shot. I really, 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 really. Um, but we have the moon card, which is, again, another card of illusions, deception here. So the moon and the seven of swords here is what's really making me feel like, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Don't be tricked. Don't be deceived here. Don't don't have this person basically pulling the wool over your eyes. What's the three of cups? Nine of Pentacles again, because they see that that they were they were okay without you. Yeah, and there's the ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and we have the four of wands. Or maybe they saw this individual was moving towards someone that was. Nine of Pentacles, which is Empress energy, pre-Empress energy. Basically, they all have their own home. They have their own car. They have their own their own finances. They have their life pretty much together. Uh, four of Pentacles. Yeah. Let's clarify that again. Give me one more for the Three of Cups here. One more for the Three of Cups. What's the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so they were working on something from working on a situation or building a connection with someone that they found really interesting here. And I feel like someone became confused here because someone did exactly what I said. Like they seen that someone was moving on and page of cups. So someone could be very immature. Like there's no kings. There's no kings out here. There's no emperors that's coming out here. There's, there's no, none of that. So, which also makes me believe that it definitely could be just that, an illusion here. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Page of Swords. There's a lot of page energy out here. Nine of Wands. Oh, here's an emperor here. The Page of Cups. So, it's like page, 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 page. So, someone that could be very immature could be someone that's younger than you guys. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm going to leave the Six of Cups and the Page of Swords out here. So, I feel like this is someone that's actually, again, with the Nine of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, trying to block this connection here. Or block a connection here. 
because you guys share history. And also, this could be um, the Six of Cups. So, this could be also someone that was connecting with someone from their past. Now, it could be a past life soulmate for that individual as well. They could have been, they could have met online. They could have communicated online. Something of that nature here. It's also like a little stalker energy too. All right. So, I'm going to grab another deck here. For you guys to see if um, there is going to be a reconciliation between this Gemini and and whoever it is we got um, we have Libra we have Pisces energy that's really heavy here we have um, Virgo and we have a uh, fire sign as well to Aries Leo Sagittarius here um, we have Leo here as well and then we have a cancer energy as well so take it how it resonates it could be any one of those any one of those energies we also have uh some scorpio energy here too as well all right so let me see real quick all right pull out another deck here for you guys real quick all right so will this reconciliation go down for gemini Like, I feel like, is it really a, 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 a healthy reconciliation or is this like a hoax? Because I feel like, I just really feel like, like, it could definitely be a hoax for real. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but a car alarm is just, just started going off here. So that would be like a, I'm here, ring the alarm by Beyonce. But uh, okay, so that would make very, that would make valid sense here. So um, ring the alarm by Beyonce, she's saying, I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. Ring the alarm, you know, that song, sound the alarm. She about to make me act small if I let you go. Gonna take everything I own if I let you go. So, I feel like that's how this Gemini is feeling, like, okay, so, okay. I don't know if y'all can hear that car alarm that's going off, but it just really started going off if I said, when I said, is this really a reconciliation or a hoax? Alright, so, show you guys, we have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. It's possible. It's possible. The lovers, the six of cups, the four of wands, the ace of pentacles. Okay. So it's possible that Gemini will reconcile, will be successful at reconciling here. Um, and then we have the eight of swords here. And then we have the King of Cups. And then behind that, we have the Tower. So I feel like for a majority of the Geminis, they will have success with reconciling with this individual here. Um, only for this. Okay, so it's just going to be uh, um, uh, another cycle because someone didn't learn the lessons previously that they were supposed to learn in the cycle here. So. Because it's like the tower is here, okay? And that's basically breaking down or destroying, as you guys can see, destroying a foundation here. But the lovers is a choice here, all right? King of Wands, Eight of Wands, and then we have a King of Swords here, all right? And then behind that, we have the High Priestess, okay? And then behind that was Nine of Swords. I'm not going to show it to you guys, but, it, oh, well, you know, fuck it, I will. Um, nine of Swords behind that. Okay. So, I feel like... I feel like for those that will reconcile with the Gemini, 
it's like now I'm here. Damn, it was all good just a week ago. So it's like it's going to appear to be good. It's, it's going to appear to be, you know, whatever they woo, woo, woo in your ear, right? With the seven of cups here and the moon. So whatever story they gave with the um, <clears throat> knight of swords here with the aggressive communication is going to be coming in. And it's like these guys are going to be pulling all, those, all the stoppers out. They might even go get a nice rental car and shit like that. Like just to impress you, take you out to a nice meal, nice dinner here. But I feel like as soon as they get you sucked back in, then it's like boom, eight of swords. Boom, love bomb. Right? That's basically what that is. The Eight of Swords and the King of Cups. And then, boom, the Tower. And it's like, damn, like, why did I fall for this shit again? I don't know. Why did you fall for this shit again? So, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see what shot out here. We have Flirt, Extend Your Lighthearted Energy to Others. Okay, and then we have separation time apart for your partners on the horizon. Okay, all right, let's pull a few from my deck real quick and we're gonna close it on out here, gems. Alright, so what can we tell Gemini's about this energy here? Anything else before we close it out? Hmm, let's see. So, spool means at the bottom of the deck. So, this person could have um, became accustomed to things that you used to do for them or vice versa. All right. We have no more chances. We have come back to me. Exactly what, what I'm saying here. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I'm broke, bitch. Oh, fuck no. And then we have um, queen. Okay. All right, so let's see what's behind spool me. Oh my God, look, dark side. So that's like toxic, harmful chemicals that you don't want to ever, 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 ever put in your body, okay? That's basically what it is, okay? And we have Tuesday, show it to you again, Tuesday. And then we have, do you want me? And if you broke, <clears throat> It's a no. But for some of y'all, they, they, they might, they might want Because I'm broke is next to the one, so I don't know. Like, somebody might be, um, stigmatized or clickmatized, whatever. But, um, that's what I got for you guys, okay? So, for some of you guys, um, the Barry White, uh, theatrical dinner, all that shit, it's going, it's going to work for some of y'all. Um, you know, whether this is you, Gemini, doing this to somebody else, or this is somebody doing it to you. But for some of them, they're going to get sucked back in and swooped back in just to be disappointed again. Um, and, you know, sometimes it be like that because, you, like I say, we, we repeat cycles when we do not spiritually ascend or evolve, okay? And we don't um, learn our values and our self-worth that we deserve better. Okay, so for some of you, some of you guys will experience um, and repeat that cycle, unfortunately. Um, and for others of you, you won't because no more chances come out. So take it how it resonates, all right? If you haven't experienced this yet or got into this energy, then this is a clear heads up for you, Geminis. Uh, but for those that are cross-watching for a Gemini, and if you did take this individual back, um... Be weary. It's just a matter of time. Because, again, all pages came out. No emperor came out. No king came out. Like, none of that. So, someone was almost like to an empress or an emperor or a king or a queen with nine of pentacles here. Um, but before they can ascend, ascend all the way, I feel like this is when this person came, is going to come back and, like, you know, sink their fangs in. All right. 
So that's what I have for you guys, Gemini. Uh, make the best choice out of the situation. Make it, what they say, make your next move the best move. All right, so that's what I got for you guys. All right, take care, be good, be well. All right, be aware of the illusions and the confusions and the delusion. Peace.